hello everybody welcome back in this video we are going to create the face of our character and it will be a very stylized or poly simple face we are not following this face anymore uh, but we will just create a simple face for getting some idea how we can build our face so just uh, click uh, shift a and we can create a cube go to edit mode we can place it at the right spot we can just scale it as per our needs and then we will just scale it to x axis as well like this and yeah that's good and now we will just uh, scale it little bit more to match the corners on the one side and we are not uh, matching corner from the other side just for getting the main dimension of our cube and then we will just add it here because our head will be finished here and uh, these are the hair section we will not create the hairs we will create a cap for our character because it will be Pakistani character so here we are going to create a loop and uh, now you can see we have a nice loop here and uh, what we will do we will just go to front view we will just select this section we will press SX to scale it little bit inside and also this section as x to scale it little bit not too much uh, very small scale and to this side as well i think uh, this should be not too big small tweak and then we'll just go to side view three and uh, here you can see we should enable the reference image and now you can see that we can just bring it like this just for the base base of the head like this and then uh, you can see here we can just move these vertices a little bit and this vertex we can move it like this and this one little bit and this one uh, actually i think we should move these i will just place it like here for now and uh, later on we will solve this issue and uh, now we will just create we will just add a modifier subdivision surface on this and uh, what it will do it will guess give us a better shape i think so now you can see we have this type of head base which is quite good and we are happy with this and we will just apply this subdivision surface and that's it now we can right click and share smooth to make it better that's very nice now uh, you can see this is our head and uh, and when we applied the subdivision surface the size of the head is not uh, very much accurate so i will select it everything and uh, then we can scale it a little bit to match the overall shape here and now we will select the half of the section and we can delete that section if we want to do so uh, but i think uh, okay let's do that no problem let's delete the section vertices and now we will just go to mirror or to other side and we will enable the clipping as well so now you can see we have this space and now we will create our eyes and that will be totally stylized style we will not following the reference image we are just create we will just create the eyes and other things uh, just uh, for uh, as a reference so here we have the eyes area and uh, this is the mouth area and uh, for this we can just select this uh, this uh, vertex for the mouth or maybe this one is better i think so let's select this one and let's delete this face over here and now you can see we have this type of loop for the face uh, although it's not very very nice because uh, it's very low i think it's very below but yeah it's fine i think so let's add it here and uh, 
then for the eyes we will just create some corners for the eyes so I will just create a corner here and a corner here as well sorry to this side as well and then we will create a corner to this side and then this side that's nice and now we can select this middle vertex and we can delete this vertex uh, also for the eyebrows we can create a loop here and then we can just uh, tweak these loops but uh, before that we can just uh, hide the back loops so that we can work on the front view uh, uh, loops uh, easily so now we can uh, just select this vertex move it here move it here and then I think we should create a loop here as well so that we can organize vertices in a better way and a loop here as well to make it better so now I think it's quite good here and that's it this is our eyebrow section eyebrow and uh, nose section is added and for the nose sorry eyes and uh, for the nose uh, we will just create a corner here uh, a loop here I think uh, from this eyes so yeah this much and I uh, will keep this as a nose base so we will just click here and we'll just select these vertices let's move these vertices a little bit outside so just for the <coughs> uh, basic shape of our nose and now if we go to shaded view you can see we have eye section we have mouth section as well and we have eyebrows as well <coughs> so let's uh, do that so let's uh, uh, select this mouth section and we can just extrude it to y axis a little bit and then again extrude it to y axis a little bit but before moving further I will just uh, uh, go to front view and uh, we will select these middle vertices which are these two vertices and we will just move these vertices a little bit uh, like this but it will create a problem from this side as well so uh, for solving this issue we will select these vertices as well and we will just move these vertices a little bit like this and then we will just select these two vertices and move it a little bit more and it will give us a little bit smiley uh, type face so uh, yeah that's good and now we will select the last loop which is this one and we will press before that I will just move it little bit more and we will press F to fill out the faces and uh, now we will also apply the subdivision surface to check that everything should work nice so now you can see we have a nice mouth here and uh, definitely uh, we can add a bevel uh, to the corner if you want to do so if we select uh, uh, this corner or this corner we can add bevel but uh, it's not needed I think so now for the eyes we'll select the eyes and we'll just go to circle it and now you can see we have this eye section we will just scale it little bit we are keeping our uh, character uh, stylized not uh, I will not add the proportional editing so that uh, we can uh, extrude the section with the sides as well we don't need it and uh, we are just going to extrude it to y axis so we extrude it to y axis very small extrusion in the beginning okay and <coughs> then we will just extrude it to y axis again and we will just press S to scale it ok <coughs> and we will uh, again press you can see the eye size is too big as compared to that uh, outer eye so we can select 
this loop and you can see we can't select this loop uh, properly so I will just move back and then we'll just go to this section and we'll just press S to scale it little bit so I should be not too big so that's why I make this eye very small and then we will press E Y and S to scale it little bit and then again E Y I think this much is good and S to scale it E Y very small extrusion and then S very small little bit and then we will press E Y and we will just move outside so here we will press S to scale it like this and E Y again and S to scale it so like this and uh, yeah this much is good I think we should decrease the extrusion like this and now <coughs> we can just fill out the faces by F and if you want to create some more loops you can do so by pressing ctrl R or you can select this one and press E S to make another loop it's, it's up to you so now if we apply the subdivision surface uh, then you can see that we have a nice eyes here and uh, now we need a eyebrow so for that purpose we can just select this section till here and we will just extrude it a very small uh, extrusion we need initially and I will show you why we are doing this because we will create textures and uh, this loop will help us to create a mark seam so again we will press EY here and now if we enable this you can see we have very nice eyebrows and now it's time for the nose so we'll select the uh, nose section so if we go to front view you can see this is our nose uh, till here maybe so we can select this and we can extrude this section for the nose if you want to do so 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 let's do that and let's see what will happen actually we can just move this section out as well if you we want to do so to create this type of shape but it will not look better so we will just extrude it to y axis a little bit like this and I think it will look better yeah that's good the nose is also very nice and now what else we need is the ears section so for the ears uh, for the nose I think uh, I will recheck the nose as we should have created a loop here to the uh, this point as well for seams so I will just create a loop here to the very near to this last loop okay so it's important so that's nice okay so now moving further we will create ears for our character before that I will just press alt s to bring our uh, other section in place and now we will just press tab to make it object before doing anything else we will just press ctrl s to save everything and I will just enable the body to check everything so you can see although this head looks very big as compared to this body but when we will add cloths and other things it will be fine I think and as you can see we have a very nice uh, head section so now we need our ears so for the ears base uh, we can go to 3 and we can go to wireframe mode
hello everybody welcome back in this video we are going to create our ears uh, and uh, we will not uh, create ears separately we will create the ears on the head as itself so we'll go, go to three press uh, into wireframe mode and you can see we have uh, this type of side view so we can uh, actually extrude the section uh, by uh, by selecting some uh, area so I think control R and this much area is fine for the ears and uh, then we can just select this section uh, I think till here maybe and we can extrude it so let's go to front view and we can extrude it to x axis like this Okay, let's make it like this and then E X again and we'll press S Z again to make it small and E X again a little bit and S Z to scale it so this is not good I think so just move it here S Z to scale it and that's good uh, now we will select the corner loop so I will select this loop actually this one and we'll just move it like this and then I will create a loop here to this place and I will show you why I did so and now you can see we have nice ear although it's not very much straight for some reason so we'll just move back sorry again and first of all we will just extrude it to X very small extrusion we need okay in the beginning because you can see the bad impact here and also if we uh, extrude it now to X axis we will just keep it like this straight and uh, S Z to scale it and E X again S Z to scale it and that's it this is our ear so although we can uh, rotate it little bit we can tweak it the ear little bit and uh, I'll just go to vertices to make ear a lit little bit better as compared to the original extrusion so yeah this is better I think yeah this is good and uh, for some reason you can see that uh, these two vertices are not straight as compared to the other vertices so we'll just move it like this for some reason and the reason is the base is maybe not straight that's why and also we'll just create a loop here uh, actually I want to create a loop here to the corner to fix this issue and uh, I will just create a loop here as well to fix this type of issue here and if we go to subdivision surface you can see we have a nice ear although our ear don't have any extrusion or uh, any other thing so if you want to do so we can select certain areas so I think if we select this outer area we can extrude it outside if we want to do so or we can select this inner area and I will just enable the proportional editing and let's move it a little bit inside okay and as you can see this is our ear now we are not going to add too much effect on ears because we will keep ear very straight and uh, uh, not uh, uh, we don't need too much too much impact on this ear although we can select this section like this and we can extrude it if we want to do so but I think we can just move it a little bit without proportional editing let's move it a little bit and now if we 
check it out you can see it's better cuts now and that's fine I think so we'll keep it like this and our ear is ready and now the next step is to create the cap for our connector because we are not going to create uh, hairs if you want to create this type of hairs you can definitely create these type of shapes and you can place these shapes on your character if you want to do so uh, but if you want to keep it simple we can create some type of cap or any other thing if you want to do so so i think we will place a cap because it's a pakistani character and uh, uh, for that first of all we will just select the uh, character and we will just enable the apply the mirror modifier and now we'll just go to select this loop entire loop before that we can add a loop cut here as well if you want to do so and for this loop we can press s z zero sorry actually create a cut here and we'll press s y zero not y zero s x zero and it's not working here so we'll not uh yeah s z zero actually okay that's uh, not working before due to the subdivision uh, surface was enabled so i've created this loop and uh, then we will just go to wireframe mode and we'll go to vertices and we'll select everything till here okay and we'll again go to shaded view and now you can see we have selected this section and now we will just create shift D duplicate and we will click right click and it will be placed on the same surface and uh, same place and now we can right click and we can go to separate selection and now you can see we have a nice selection here we can name it cap and it will be cap of our player and now if we go to object board you can see this is our face and this is our cap and for cap we will just go to solidify and we will add offset of 0 and we will increase the thickness to 0 0.02 and it will give us the better shape and now you can see that we have our character with our cap as well and if we enable the body you can see our complete character and that's good so we will select the uh, this object, the face and the the face and the cap as well, and uh, we will just move it little bit by pressing G Z. Move it here. Okay, and I think G Z and G Y to move it like this and that's better position I think so that's good this is our character and in the next video we are going to add clothes for our character